Do you like our Lord and Savior Pink Sheep? Well, why don't you show support and give a mandatory donation to our God at my Teespring store? Link down below. At least it was nice of the Foundation to offer you another accommodation after the attack. Yeah, well, I don't really- I didn't have a door anymore, so I kinda needed a new accommodations. Yes. Though, it makes me question why they put you so far. Perhaps for... traumatic stress, but... <clears throat> this looks better than your old room. Yeah. It works for now. I still have to find, uh, places. Hmm. And get all my stuff out. Is that the lamp from your house? It was. I changed the lampshade. I don't know if I wanted the yellow anymore. Well, I guess it is a bit of an eyesore with the rest of the decor around here. Yeah. Everything in my house looks like an eyesore because I didn't get time to fix the colors in there. So. Of, of course. Understandable. Well, not understandable. It's... Yeah. Still, yes. it's a shame. Are you alright, Um I'm fine. Just, you know, it freaked yes, me out. I, I believe I do now. I'm terribly sorry that happened. It's alright. I'm sorry that it, you know, the test still failed, but... To be quite honest, I did think about it on the drive over. He was supposed to die, but we took notes just in case something else were to happen. Good. And yet, it... I'm just happy you're fine, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah, I didn't know if that thing was gonna attack me or anything. So, I'm glad I don't it's over. think it would have attacked you, if I'm being quite honest. It seemed very much. I wouldn't call it love, if I'm being honest, but something. Obsessed, you know? yeah. Obsessed. That is the word. Yeah, but sometimes obsession gets to that point, you know? And... Very true. Yeah. But glad it's over with, and you don't think I have to redo it again, do I? I don't... I don't really want to put you through that again. You seemed rather... Well... <sighs> I was trying to put you on know. a brave face for it, but I was really freaked out the entire time. <laughs> Uh, uh, let me get my key. Right. Oh, hi, come on in. Um, Reggie? Hello. Hi. Um, Did they say kick you out? Yes. Hmm. They really do. They never really have respect for any of the uh, junior researchers, or just Even? researchers in general. Right. I definitely got the sense of that. That was fun. Hmm. Well, regardless, I um, was just making sure Cat here is fine. Yep, yeah, them all good. Just, uh... If you don't mind me asking, though, it didn't... Did it do anything? Like... Like, actually talk, or... It was just nothing. giving letters to Davis. <laughs> hmm. Very well, then. Strange. Davis even Very noted it probably weird. only talks through uh, letters. It doesn't have anything yeah. to serve as a mouth anyway, so. I believe well, that. Well, it has an eyeball from what we saw in the footage, and what we saw as well, I'm not sure if you saw, was more of those tentacle-like things crawling out of the mailbox. Oh yeah, that's how what I saw it the first time. No, there was more. There was more? I didn't really keep Slowly. notice of it. It's as if the house itself is in the SCP as well, and the mailbox more or less controls the house. Well, yeah, because, you know, we didn't lock the door mailbox. behind us, and the door was already locked when we tried to get out. Yes. Perhaps the mailbox sees everything in the house. Would explain how we saw more of the, um... <clears throat> finer details. Yeah. Right, but... I believe 5162 is being seen by a doctor. Again, probably just bruised his leg or something. Last yeah. I knew he was being treated, yes. Good. Now, I'm... 
I don't want to seem crude with what I say next to you, by the way, but I don't think he's going to see his son. The O5 promised him that if he were to complete the test, they would do something to provide that benefactor. Yeah. You mentioned that. Yes, but I... I guess I want to be known that I don't have control over it. I know, Dr. Arkman. If you did have control over it, I'm sure, you know, things would be different. Mm, much different. It was the O5's idea to try and... anger the box with... you... there. Yeah. Though, from what we can tell, it does not like males whatsoever. Well, when they're with females, at least. Yeah. If I could see that, um... If nothing happened while you guys, like, anybody who came in my house alone, it was probably all males who came in then. Correct. So. If anything, you could have a male stay on the property then. Just to monitor them. Oh, believe me, we, we're going to have an agent just stay there. I'll have to get Perhaps my son get a gay agent or something. In case they find something. That's a good thing to look into, I guess. It is a test, at least. I guess. Though, I'd rather not take the try with it. I'm not even sure if we want to try anything more than that, what we've already done. Most definitely. Well, I don't think we'd been involved with it any further, so whatever they decide to do after this is not our problem, then. Well, that's the thing. We're going to need to... The O5 is more or less... Well, the Foundation is more or less buying the house outright, not letting anyone in. We're going to be replacing the windows with reinforced glass, bulletproof, locking the door with some mechanical device so no one can really get in. Yeah, things have already been discussed with me, buying it from me. Yes. Which I... is great, because then I can just go and find a new place to live. Problem is, not a lot of places are, you know, for Close sale. Close by to uh, yeah. entrance. Yeah. Well, like I said, there's some areas near me. I can look into it. Thank you. Well, there are also some apartments in my place as well. Well, whichever place I can get to first that, you know, accepts me, I can buy, I will totally go there. And it, of course. Hello there. Sorry to interrupt, but um, just wanted to chat with you all here. I'm with the Ethics Committee, if you cannot recall me. I remember, Abby. Wonderful. So, I just wanted to have a quick chat with you, Dr. Harkman. If you don't mind, if I were to do that right here. I, I don't see a problem with step that. Outside no, no, no. Let's just do this here, all right? Very easy, so we can get the point across. This test that you committed here with your members here was outright foolish. We are absolutely disgusted that this test was even conducted at all. Are you aware of the danger you put your researcher in? Are you aware of the danger you put aware. your SCP in? I was aware of the risks. The SCP was a backup just in case things did not go the way we wanted them to go. And along with that, I'm aware that this was a test given to you by the O5 committee. But if you had any qualms with this test, you know to, to, to contact us if there was any problems with it that you considered a problem, which is having a junior researcher participate in a dangerous test that could have ended in loss of life at the yes. very worst and you chose not to do that you also chose to have an scp who we still see is unreliable because they do not fully trust us and are not loyal to the foundation you decided to have somebody unloyal to our cause be a backup for you what would have happened if SCP-5162 chose to be untruthful and said that this test never happened in the first place and continued to cause this over and over again or gave up straight in lies as information. We have uh, m more or less figured out measures to 
understand when a reset does or does not happen. Is it just the feelings? I've checked your files, and it's mostly just a feeling of deja vu. It is, is a right? sense of deja vu, yes. That the closer one is to 5162, the stronger deja vu is. That is un trustworthy because deja vu is just a feeling it is not something that can be concretely proven i feel deja vu all the time i don't say it's you know a direct cause of 5162 my kids feel it feel deja vu i don't i don't think it's anything to do with 5162 do you understand what i'm trying to say here dr harkman i understand very well abby along with that I understand, Dr. Harkman, that you have had history with doing things with SCPs without any authorization and putting people in danger for that. Let us not have a repeat of that again, Dr. Harkman. It was a mistake the first time. Be that as it may, Dr. Harkman, your actions here have spoken that it is something that is easy to repeat for you. We do not want Davis in situations where he is in danger, considering that he still does not trust us and will not give us reliable information. The plan was that we would um, allow him to talk to his son and or offspring if we, if he were to be honest and truthful with the information that he presented. He can still be untruthful with that information, and you would have to believe him because we have nothing else to back it up off of. He could literally say that that mailbox thing takes him to the moon, and we have to believe him because nobody else has come back from that thing. Alive, at the very least. They are... You are correct, Abby. If you have any other tests given to you from the O5, you are to contact us to make sure these tests are ethical. One does not simply deny an order from O5 and get away with it. Well, one can simply come to us to make sure that this test that you're going to conduct falls within the rights that you have to do and falls within the ethical morals of the company and the foundation. So, if you get any more tests from the O5 having to do with 5162, forward it to me before you re respond. So I can get a good look at what they're asking. Because clearly, nobody else will do that, even though that is part of your job. I understand fully, Abby. If you'll excuse me, it appears the O5 is requesting my presence again. Well, I won't stop you then, Dr. Harkman. Have a good day, Abby. You as well, Dr. Harkman. All right, and I have to speak to uh, her one-on-one. -on -one. Could you please um, give us a moment? Yes, yes, I'm not allowed anywhere. Uh -huh. Go. Sorry about all that. It's, uh, quite all right. Uh, just doing your job, I imagine? Yes, just, you know, doing my job. I get really upset when things like this happen. You know, I have heard that you also have, uh, some, well, problems with how 5162's containment and test behaviorals are. Yeah, I, I tend to have problems with that. Well, I mean, I... I get it, obviously, that, uh, we have to do certain things to keep them in line, but clearly that's not working. Yes, I can tell it hasn't been working. And I'm, well, we're at a loss as to how to really make 5162 more compliant and loyal so the O5 can actually do the tests they wish to do. Do you happen to have any ideas in mind? Uh... Well, why? Why do you... I mean, I, I do, just to... I was mentioning earlier to Dr. Harkman that it would be a good idea if we already had visits between 5162 and his son, so he doesn't lose those rights. I mean, if he had them already, I think he would continue to work hard to make sure that he doesn't lose those privileges. I mean, he doesn't really care about his own housing situation, but I think he cares more about his son. 
Do you have any idea of how um, to really keep those visits going? You know, since we can't bring the child to this foundation. I just want to get your input. I already have a few ideas, but your opinion would be needed. Um, well, I was thinking maybe we could have a home location, set it up to look like, you know, Davis lives there. And then every visit, we can just have Davis be taken there. But yeah, we have someone, you know, stay, stay, uh, be with Davis to monitor the situation. And then, um, you know, then uh, after the situ after, you know, monitoring is, you know, the, you know, sorry, the meeting is over with, um, we take Davis back to his cell. And that's that. We come up with a fake story for Davis that, you know, he's actually working out here or something like that. That is a very good idea. I appreciate your input. Well, I'll keep this noted for other reasons that we had this conversation at, so... I'll be on my way. If you need anything, by the way, please don't hesitate to send the the, the, the ethics committee some uh, an email whenever you um, need anything or need any advice. Of course, of course, thank you for seeing me. Of course, have a great day, Kat. You as well. Okay, well, might as well look up uh, some apartments or whatever. 